Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can send out emails from a Google Sheet. In this video, we're going to be using a popular tool known as Lido. Lido is a new spreadsheet that pulls data from your Google Sheets, allowing you to automate your spreadsheet tasks without code. There are multiple use cases for this that you can check out and uh, such as reminders, notifications, data entry, documents, reporting and more. You can check out by clicking on the link in the description to check out Lido and all the amazing features Lido has to offer. In this video, we're going to be looking at something that every business needs. That is a automated emailing workflow. So we have a Google sheet here that contains our emailing list and we're going to be using Lido to send out our emails without code. So I have my name here. I have the email address of the recipients that I want to send my current email to. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll go to Lido.app and I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and I'm going to be signing in with my account. And I've since I already have an account, I've already created it. So we're going to be going ahead and clicking on the new file that creates a new spreadsheet for us inside of Lido. The first step that you have to do when you come into Lido is connect your data. So I'm going to be going ahead and clicking on connect data. Now you have to specify the type of data. It's going to be from my Google sheet. And um, since I've logged in with my email address, this is the same email address that is going to be containing my Google sheet. So I'm going to be clicking on select. And after that you go just copy in the URL of your spreadsheet. Go ahead and paste it out here in a few seconds. It will authorize it and just go ahead and click on next. When you click on next, you will be shown the rows and columns that you want to pull from your Google sheet into Lido. So once you have that, you can see select all you can customize the selections or the data that you want to pull from there. But for now, I'm going to be clicking on select all. Right. And once that's done, I'm going to be clicking on add data. And in a few seconds, all the data from my Google sheet is going to be pulled into Lido. And I'm going to be giving the table name as emails. I'm going to be going ahead and clicking on save. So now that we have our names and email addresses into Lido, it's time to create the email template that I want to use for my emailing workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sheet one here. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to change this to template. And I'm going to be starting off by writing in the subject of the email followed by the body. Inside of the subject, I first want to just say, Hey, and I want to include the name of the customer or the recipient or the person you are sending it to. Now, how do we do that? We're going to be calling it from the email sheet. I'm going to be opening up my square brackets. And as soon as you do that as parameters, you can pull in the name or the email. So I'm going to be clicking on name here. So that is, Hey, the name, if it's Aryan is going to be, Hey, Aryan, I'm going to be adding a comma. And I'll be writing welcome to Lido. So this is going to be my subject for the email. And this is automatically going to be um, putting in the name of the recipient into the subject. Now, when we move towards the body, um, I would like to include the name once again. So I'm going to be doing something like this. Hi, and I'm going to be adding the name here. And after that, I'm just going to do a alt enter. So I'll come down here and I'm just going to be writing something like welcome to Lido. Please free, uh, please feel free to reach out with any questions. And I'm going to add a full stop. I'm going to go down here and just say regards. And I'm going to go down here and say team Lido. And once that's done, my email body is also ready to be sent out. So I'm going to go back to my emails. And now this is where the actual action happens. I need to create custom bodies, custom subjects for each of the recipients that the email is going to go out to. So to do that, we're going to be using a function known as string template, which is already provided inside of Lido. So I'm going to go to my column here and I'm going to be adding an equal to sign. And I'm going to be saying string template and inside this first, I have to specify the cell. So I'm going to go to template and I'm going to be clicking on subject. 
I'm going to close. And before that, we will have to add a couple of dollar signs here so that um, it doesn't go to the next row while it's accessing. So I'm going to be adding another dollar sign here. I'm going to be closing the brackets. I'll hit on enter. And here you can see it is automatically created saying, Hey, Arin Irani, welcome to Lido. Hey, Arin Singh, welcome to Lido. And hey, Soham. It has automatically done this using the string template function. So basically the string template function replaces column references with the value a row has for that column, making it easy to auto create personalized subjects and bodies for each row. So I'm going to be clicking on the column here and I'm going to be changing this to say subject. And I'm going to be going ahead and clicking on save. And after that, I'm going to go to my body. And here I'm going to be doing the same. I'll open up string template and I'm going to be going back to my template sheet. I'm going to click on this and uh, I'll add the dollar signs here. So it doesn't go to the next row and um, close the brackets and hit enter. And here you can see it, it has successfully created my body for the email automatically using the string template function. I'm going to go ahead and click on save here. And here we have successfully created our subject and the body. Now that we have our subject and body ready, I guess it's time to send out the email. So I'm going to go here and to send the email, we're going to be using the send email function. We're going to be doing equal to send Gmail. And you have to first specify the source that is going to be me that I'm sending the emails to. So I'm going to be specifying the credentials. After that, we specify the recipient's email followed by the subject and followed by the body. If I click close and I hit on enter, you can see here it has successfully created the entire email here. Now let's just take a look at what the email looks like. You can do that using the preview email. Just go, go to the three dots here and click on preview email. Here you can see we have from to the subject and the body that has done it perfectly. Now you can see that there is a automatic footer that has been applied to this. So if you get any form of the premium subscription, you can automatically remove the footer by going to the settings page and you can click, just select the email branding to this and go ahead and click on save changes. And even you can add custom email signatures. I'm going to go back to my files. I'm going to go back to the project that we just created. So now there's something I do when I send out emails is to add a status column. I like to know who the emails are sent out to and who these e emails are, are not sent out to yet, because I don't want to send people repetitive emails. I don't want to send them the same email again and again. So what if there was a trigger or there was a column that contained something that says email sent or success? Yes, that is possible inside of Lido. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be tweaking the formula a bit. I'm going to be opening the formula up here and we're going to be going and adding an if loop here. So now if the cell that is F2 on that side is not equal to, let's say in smaller case, I'll just add success, right? And I add a comma here. It should send an email if it is, if the F2 that is the status column is not equal to the success. I click on enter, it looks fine. So I'm going to be going here and changing this to email trigger. And I'm going to be clicking on save. And now we're going to be going ahead and creating the status column. So we're going to be clicking on F2, F1. I'm going to go click on status. Now when you go on status, you have to click on the linked column. So this is going to be linking my email address or any particular key in the a uh, particular row, it will be connected to my status. So if I shift the rows up and down, it's not going to be changing my status at all. So I'm going to be clicking on linked column and I have to select one. So I think the email address seems like an interesting or like a safe key that I can put that I can connect to my status column. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And once we are here, if I just type in here success, You'll see this has automatically turned to false, which means it's not going to be sending an email to rinrani123. Now, let's just go ahead and try one email. Let's just send out one email and see how it goes. Let's click on the three dots here and you can click on run action to run or send out your email. When you can see it's running and it's a success. So if I go back to my Gmail, 
gonna open it up and here you can see my web uh, email has successfully come and you can see there's you don't have the footer anymore so it says hey Arun Irani welcome to Lido and it has the same subject that we had and the same body that we just designed so if I go back to Lido now I don't want to manually click on this and click on run action or preview email I want it to send emails automatically now to do that we're going to be automating this process and we're going to be using some Lido automation so I'm going to click on the three dots on the email trigger and run column on a schedule now this is where you have the tables is going to be emails the column trigger is going to be the email trigger that is the particular column now we have to uh, select the schedule of when you want to send the emails so i'm going to be keeping that to minutes and i'm going to be keeping it to five minutes and every five minutes what what happens is basically um every time the automation is scheduled to run in this case it's going to be five minutes it will do the following even if the file is closed or even locked out it will pull all the new rows from the Google Sheet. It will update the Lido spreadsheet cell values and it will auto send the emails that need to be sent according to our set conditions. In this example, if the status column says success, it's not going to be sending an email. But if it is, if it doesn't have a success, it's going to be sending an email and populating there saying success. Right. So here you can see the next automation is going to be running in about four minutes. So I'm going to be going here and adding a new row of data. I'm going to just say Raj and I'm going to be putting in I'm going to be specifying this email address. I'm just going to color this for now. I'm going to keep this as green. Right. I'm going to go back to my Lido and when I click on save in the next four and a half to five minutes there's going to be a new row that's going to be added to this sheet that is it's going to be fetching it from the google sheet and putting it into my lido spreadsheet and it's going to be sending all the emails And here you can see on successful execution, it has sent out all the emails. At the same time, it has fetched the new row of data that we had from our original Google Sheet into the Lido spreadsheet. So now if I go ahead and check my email for the new one, I can see, hey, Raj, welcome to Lido. Please feel free to reach out with any questions regards Team Lido. And here you can see we don't even have the footer anymore that was provided by Lido if you get the subscription. Now here you can see we have successfully sent out all the emails from our Google Sheet using Lido automation. You haven't written a single line of code until now, but you have been able to create an automation and send out bulk emails using Lido. You can help support the channel by signing up for Lido by using the link in the description. Um, I'll be leaving the sheet link and the Lido documentation link in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.